Did you know I made this with AI? I'm not even real. <laughs> what do you think of these people watching this YouTube video? I'll fight every, every single one of you watching this video. What is the number one thing you look for in a man? I only date men who are pros at Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, yes. Are you ready to cook some meat? Let me show you how. What do you think of Daryl Wilson? Um, <laughs> oh, that guy is such a loser. So those are pretty good, right? Now, recently, Google launched their newest version of Google Flow, which is Google VO3. This is probably one of the best video AI creators in the market. You can easily make stunning visuals with audio that look and feel amazing. So I've been using this AI tool for about two weeks now, and I've kind of narrowed it down to a science. So let me walk you through how to use the new Google VO3 version. So this is Google Flow. Now there is a link in the video description in case you can't find this product. Now real quick, this is not available in all countries. So if you do need access to this and it's not available in your country, you can always use a VPN, put your location in the United States, and then you'll have access to Google Flow VO3 version. So once you get here, you'll click on create with flow. Okay, now before we begin, I need to let you all know this is a paid service. So under the Google AI, if we scroll down, they have two pricing options. Now, I believe Google AI Pro is free for the first free month, and it looks like they are rolling out VO3 for all users. Now, I am currently on the AI Ultra plan, so I'll be showing you all the features for the AI Ultra plan. So let's get started. So when you first access Google Flow here in our text video, you'll actually have three different options. The first is text to video. Just type in whatever you want, a story, a skit, or whatever, and the flow turns it into a full video. It handles the visuals, the narrations, and even the music for the video. The next is frame to video. This is like building a movie scene by scene. Think about it like a storyboard, but powered by AI. You control what happens in each frame, camera shots, transitions, visuals, and even voice tones. And lastly, we have ingredients to video. This essentially allows you to upload your images, clips, narrations, or even music, and let the flow mix in a sleek video. Now, to be honest, it is limited, and I'll explain why in just a bit. Now, to get started with, here on the right side, I'll click on settings, and here we have some options. Now, for every video that you generate, you can create various outputs per prompt. So, for example, if you want one video, two videos, or three or four, you can select the number here. The next is the model, which is actually very important. Now here we have various models. Now I need to explain this just so that you don't burn through your budget. VO2 is actually pretty bad now. It's not that good. This uses about 10 credits every time you use it. So next we have VO3 Fast. This typically creates higher quality videos a little faster and it costs you about 20 credits per video. Next we have VO2. This produces high quality videos and it costs you about 100 credit per video. However, the best one is VO3 Quality. VO3 quality produces the highest quality video with audio and it costs about 100 credits per video. I'll be using this one for the duration of this tutorial. Now when you're creating videos, you need to follow this three-step process. Scenario, pre-action, and then the action. The scenario is the visual setting and the environment where the video takes place. It's meant to quickly establish the location, the mood, the lighting, and what's on screen before the action starts. Next, we have pre-action. The pre-action gets the user into position to act. They're not doing anything yet, but they're seconds away from doing something. And lastly, we have the action. This is the moment where the task is actually performed. This is the core step where the viewer sees the process in motion, whether it's clicking a button, speaking a command, or watching something happen on a screen. So let's get started. Let's recreate one of my videos. So first, we're gonna type something in. Show a white man interviewing a beautiful Hispanic woman at a beach day club in Mexico in midday. Notice here how we're describing the man, the woman, the settings, and also the location. So we're being really descriptive here for the AI. So next, let's give it our pre-action. So in our next sentence, we have, have the man walk up to the woman and ask what, you know? So right here, I'm just explaining the pre-action. I'm explaining what the man is doing. And then here, we're gonna finish it off with what the woman's gonna say. Okay, so here we go. So the man walks up to the woman and asks, what do you love about this day club? Then right here in the next sentence, notice here how we have this sentence about the woman replying, but we actually describe how she's replying. So then have the woman reply while laughing. Are you serious? I love the drinks, you silly. Then here we have the quotation to let the AI know we're done with the sentence. And then right here, I gave it one last instruction about then have the reporter also laugh. So let's see what this generates. Now, real quick, you just wanna make sure that this is under VO3. I've made this mistake many times where I put it in VO2. So you constantly have to make sure it's in VO3 quality. So let's see what it generates for us. So once you enter in your prompt, you'll then click on this little arrow thingy. 
All right, so it looks like it finished. Let's take a quick look. What do you love about this day club? Are you serious? I love the drinks, you silly. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the next one. What do you love about this day club? Are you serious? I love the drinks, you silly. <laughs> So that's an example of text to video. Now let's move on to the next one, which is frames to video. Now there is a strategy here with frames. I like to use it in conjunction with Midjourney. In case you don't know, Midjourney is a website where you can create some really high quality images. Now I highly recommend to actually start from Midjourney, create a really nice image, and then you can use that in order to demonstrate and create AI generated videos. So for example, here we have this one with two horses. I'll click on this one, and then I'll go ahead and download this. So I'll right click, save image and I'll download onto my computer. Let's go to frame to video. And for this one, I'm gonna click on this plus icon and I'm gonna upload that image. Here's the image. I'll go ahead and open this. Then I'll crop and save. Okay, now the next thing we can do is here we have this camera and you can actually select specific angles for your frame. So if you want the camera to perform specific actions, you can do that. Now keep in mind, you can also instruct the AI to actually perform camera angles as well. So this isn't required and you can always put this in the prompt if you wanna go that route. I'll go ahead and select dolly out and then here I'll give it a command. So here we go. Have the woman look at the camera while walking in a sexy style, then make the horses jump. Now real quick, there is a drawback here. Here I'll click on settings and click on model. This is only available for VO2. So you cannot use this for VO3 and it also doesn't have audio. So personally, I think this is a huge drawback and it is only a matter of time before they make this available for VO3 version. I would say VO2 is quite limited and definitely not as good as VO3, but I'll show you anyways, just because VO3 might come out for frames to video very soon. So I'll show you what it might look like. Here we go. I'll click on this arrow. All right, so here we go. We got those two images. Let's take a quick look. Now, the last thing that we're gonna talk about before we jump back to text to video is ingredients to video. So this allows you to upload various images in order to collaborate in the same video. So let me give you an example. We'll select this woman here. We'll also select this gentleman. And then next we'll select Sweet Tooth. So here I instructed the AI, have a man walk into McDonald's and order a Big Mac. Now, another drawback with this ingredients to video is that it's only available for VO2. So it's not available for VO3 yet. However, in the future, I do believe they will slowly make it available. So uh, for now, we'll select VO2 quality and then click on go. Now notice here how we have the man that was in that cooking outfit, but we don't have the clown or the other figure. So that's why I would say it's a little bit limited. So let's practice a little more with VO3. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select my scenario. So here we go. Show a white male reporter interviewing a UFC fighter after a win against his opponent in the ring. All right, so now we're gonna enter in our pre-action. So next we have the reporter asks, and then we'll start the actual script. So the reporter asks, what do you think about these people watching YouTube? And then here notice how I'm giving the actual camera instructions. So have the camera zoom in a little closer on the fighter. Then have the UFC fighter say, I will fight every single one of you watching this video. Or how about YouTube video? So let's say for example, you wanted to film this on a specific camera with a specific lens. You can do that. So for example, at my YouTube studio, I'm actually using the A7. So I can actually put A7 and then also describe the type of lens I want to use with the Sony A7 camera. But for now, let's just stick to the basics and let's go ahead and generate this prompt. All right, so here we go. Let's take a look. What do you think of these people watching this YouTube video? I'll fight every every single one of you watching this video so next let's generate a wedding but this time let's be very descriptive about the wedding so let's first start with our scenario so here we have our scenario a joyful elegant wedding bride and groom beaming guest celebrating romantic uplifting music so next let's enter in the pre-action the pre-action is the bride says looking at the camera with warm joy and celebration very human voice so basically i'm explaining how she's going to talk and now let's add the script so then here's the action. Did you know I made this with AI? I'm not even real. Then have the bride and groom laugh, then kiss. Here under the settings, you just wanna make sure this is VO3 quality and now I'll see what it generates. So here I'll click on generate. Did you know I made this with AI? I'm not even real. <laughs> Again, a perfect video. Did you know I 
So next, let me talk about the add to scene. So for every video that you create, you can also add to it and you can also extend it. So right here, I'll click on add to scene. Now I wanna be very transparent with all of you. For this specific option, this is not available for VO3. And that's very unfortunate because if it does become available for VO3, you can make full on movies with this platform. However, at the current time making this video, it's only available for VO2. But let me just walk you through how to use this because when they make this available for VO3, at least you'll know how to use it. So here I'll select VO2. So let's say you create a video and you do like it, right? Here I'll click on the plus and here you have two options. You can extend and also jump to. Extend essentially just extends the scene with all the visuals and jump to will just jump to another scene. So let's first do extend. So here we go. Have the bride and groom jump out the window while laughing. Then after they both jump out the window, have the guests celebrate in happiness. So right here, if you do try to actually put this in VO3 and then you actually click on the prompt, you'll then see here that there is this notice that says you cannot put it in VO3 yet. It will be out soon, but not right now. I also believe for VO2 quality, I don't think it works as well. So let's take a quick look here. And it looks like it's also not available. So it looks like you can only use this for VO2 fast, which is the worst quality possible. Let's, but let's just see what it'll generate for us. Did you know I made this with AI? I'm not even real. <laughs> okay, so this is when the second scene comes in. Notice how there's no audio. And it also did not instruct them to jump out the window. That could maybe because it might be against violation. I'm not sure, but it looks like they didn't do anything in that next scene. So again, I do think VO2 is really limited, but I'm just explaining how to use it. Next, we have the jump to. So here I'll put jump to. And here is where you can add another scene. So just remember, this scene happens and then it jumps to the next scene. So here I put Belize break up the wedding and burst through the door and stop the wedding. Then everyone slowly leaves the wedding. Now, again, remember, this is only available for VO2 fast, which is actually, again, the worst quality. And I do believe they'll make this available for VO3 in the future. But remember, I'm just the middleman. I'm just explaining to you how to use this. So once they make it available for VO3, I'm sure it'll be much better. Now, here's scene three. And you'll notice here how the people start to like, you know, oh my goodness, but please don't break in and nothing happens. So VO2 is quite limited. And let's just be honest, we'll have to wait for VO3 to come out in order to use these features. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you do have any questions for me about how to generate videos or how to use VO3, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to all of your comments. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people later.